Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my Kawaii World. So in this video, I'm going to talk about where to get good boba or bubble tea in Seoul. And at first I thought this was kind of a silly question because um, for me it was obvious. But then I realized like when I first moved here, I had to really try out some bad boba places to find the good ones. Most of these shops are Taiwanese shops that have come to open a store in Seoul, but a couple of them are Korean owned, I believe. Yeah. Anyway, anyway let's go check out the boba shop. Tiger Sugar is my go-to place for Taiwanese black sugar boba. It was founded in 2017 in Taichung, Taiwan, and it came to Korea last spring in 2019. And it's named for the tiger stripes of sugar that you can find inside the cup, which contrasts really nicely with the milk. The reason that I like Tiger Sugar above the other black sugar milk tea places is that they use a really thick, fatty, heavy whipping cream which is so decadent and delicious. It's super fatty and it contrasts really well with the black sugar syrup and the perfectly cooked soft chewy boba that are also seeped in black sugar syrup. I remember when they first opened in Hongdae, I actually waited about 30 minutes from the time I got in line until the time I had a boba drink in my hand. But subsequently they opened a few other stores and it seems like every single coffee shop makes their own version of the black sugar milk tea. So I think that this trend is kind of on the decline, but I still like it. I think it's a classic. I usually get the brown sugar boba plus pearl milk with cream and that contains two different sizes of tapioca. The regular boba are the large ones and the pearl are the smaller ones. And then they also add really thick cream to the drink. It doesn't actually contain tea, but there are versions that do contain it. So you want to mix up your sugar and cream really well, shake it 18 to 20 times until you can't see the stripes anymore. And then you want to take your straw in one hand, cover the top hole with your thumb, and poke straight down with confidence. You want to try to avoid what we had here, which is a huge gap around your straw where the milk tea drink can spill up, but that's okay. We can still drink it this way. You just have to be careful not to tip it over and spill it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get to go there. The alley. The alley actually came to Korea before Tiger Sugar. I think they opened this store in Karosugil in maybe 2018, and they are famous for their Dirioka, which are handmade tapioca pearls. They make them in house, and they also make the cane sugar syrup in house. And the Dirioka fresh milk, I think, is the most popular drink. This is very similar to the Tiger Sugar drink, except it doesn't contain that heavy cream, which I actually prefer over this one. However, this was our first introduction to the Taiwanese black sugar milk tea drink. How is it? Is it good? What do you think? I like it so <laughs> much. Really? I'm gonna try. Mmm. 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 It's so sugary. Mm. And caramelly. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> the alley also sells this Aurora series of drinks, which is a bottled drink. However, when I got it, it looked nothing like the picture. I think it's supposed to have this gradient effect, and then when you mix it up, it'll take on a magenta color, but it looks like whoever made my drink did not make it properly because, as you can see, there's no gradient effect, and in my opinion, that's the most important part of this particular drink. But it did taste good. It had a great flavor and was very slushy and icy. Yifang was founded in 2016 in Taichung, Taiwan, and I think they came to Korea late last year. This shop in Hongdae has such a nice minimalist design. I love the blue and white tiles on the floor. I first discovered this fruit tea when I visited Taiwan last year, and I just kind of felt like, where has this been all my life? Why have I been drinking the royal milk tea and the black sugar milk tea when there is fruit tea available? As you can see, Yifang sells a lot of different teas. They sell fruit tea, brown sugar milk tea, and regular teas. So you can choose whatever you like. I decided to get the best seller, which is the fruit tea, and that's absolutely what I was craving. The store itself is really tiny. There are only three bar seats and a small bench, so not a ton of seating, but luckily there weren't that many people in the store. 
The fruit tea is made of a jade tea base mixed with pineapple jam, and then they also include slices of apple, orange, and passion fruit, and then you can add the boba for an additional cost. Oh yeah, I did it like a pro. This is the medium size. I wish that I would have gotten the larger size because it was not enough. Here you can choose the sweetness level as well as the amount of ice you want. I got 30% sugar and low ice. And if you're ordering a royal milk tea or anything other than the black sugar drink, I think you can do this at pretty much all of the boba shops that I'm mentioning in this video. The fruit that they use in the cup is really fresh and when you're done with your boba drink, you can open this top up and eat the fruit out of the cup. The top looks like it's made of paper, but it's actually paper that's lined with plastic on the bottom so it takes a little bit of work to pull it off. They give you this little toothpick that reminds me of the toothpicks that they use at the night market in Taiwan when you buy fruit. The fruit in the cup actually makes it hard to drink all of the boba when you're sipping your tea, so you can just scoop that out and eat it as well. I have to say that this is my absolute favorite place to get boba in Seoul just because I'm really into fruit tea lately and also I like the look and feel of this shop. It's really soothing. This kind of fruit tea is not as trendy as the black sugar milk tea is, but it's really good and if you haven't tried it yet, I absolutely recommend that you try it. Wanpo Tea Shop opened last year in Seoul and it comes from Taichung, Taiwan. It was founded by a guy who grew up in one of Taiwan's military dependent villages. They have a pretty nice variety of teas and drinks and the price is not bad. It ranges from 3 to 5,000 won. Most of the drinks are about 4,000 won. This is a tiny little store in Yeonnamdong, which is right off of Hongdae. There's nowhere to sit here. The store itself is really simple. It kind of has the look and feel of a uh, old school tea shop with all of these metal canisters on the wall. My family and I just happened to be walking by this tea shop when they first opened last year and there was a long line. We ended up getting the black sugar boba milk tea which is what we were really into at the time but I found that the milk that the tea shop used was really thin and I was used to the really thick whipping cream texture of the tiger sugar boba so I actually didn't like this that much at all. However, I did go back recently because I wanted to make this video and also see if they had a fruit tea here. And I decided to try the lemon IU jelly. And this is something that I tried when I visited Taiwan. It's basically a jelly drink that is made using seeds from a fig plant. If you immerse the seeds in water, you can extract jelly from them. And then they'll add a honey lemon flavor to the jelly and mix it with ice and cold water and it's really good and really refreshing. Palgong tea. I've been seeing these boba shops pop up everywhere in Korea and I tried to find out if they came from Taiwan or not, but I actually think that this is a Korean owned boba chain that sells Taiwanese style drinks. And their ordering system is all electronic. You have to order on the screen and you can choose, you know, the size, whether you want cheese cream or not. And you can also choose the sweetness level and how much ice you want in your boba. And they sell both fruit based and cream based drinks they have locations all over korea so it's really easy to find one of these shops and i think it's just a really good solid place to get both fruit based or milk based boba their boba from my experience has been very well done it's nice and chewy it's not hard and the tea is pretty good I like the black mango fruit tea and my husband likes to get the black sugar latte which contains a shot of espresso in it. Hongcha is where I go to just get my royal milk tea with boba and this is just your standard ordinary boba place if you just want something really basic. They also have a good shaved ice during the summer and then what I'm drinking here is a mango milk tea which has mango tapioca pearls which is kind of like a hybrid between jelly and tapioca. It's actually really good. So they have these kinds of seasonal drinks. Kongcha is just pretty solid, dependable, and usually good. But the one thing you don't want to get here is the 
black sugar cheese foam drink. This was absolutely terrible. Where's the best place to get? Yes! Or don't do that. <laughs> so, so today I'm going to talk about where's the best place to yes, get. Yes. Stop talking in there. <laughs> Stop it or you're not going to be able to, um, to be in my video. Okay, ready? Okay. Bye!